Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick tutorial video on using Adobe Lightroom 3 and specifically 3.5 which just came out uh, a relatively minor update in, uh, in uh, late, very late September 2011. I am using my MacBook Pro uh, and this has my, uh, been my workflow lately to start with quick edits on my MacBook and then transfer them to um, a Windows 7 desktop where, where I have my master catalog. What I wanted to show you is just why I like the program and just to do some quick edits on. Now these aren't ideal pictures at all, but I want to show you kind of what, uh, how easy it is to clean up these pictures using Light Lightroom. And for those of you that don't know, Lightroom is basically a professional photographer software package that allows you to take different file types, mainly raw files, and tra uh, create different versions of those files. Uh, you can do a black and white, you can do different colors, all kinds of different changes and edits to it without destroying the original image. So it's non-destructive editing. It, uh, if you're doing a photo shoot, uh, I'll do another video on my workflow, but Lightroom is a great way to do probably about 90 to 95% of the edits that you need to do to your photos uh, before going into Photoshop if you want to. Those, those are the harder to reach or harder to get to details you need to clean up in Photoshop. So exposure control, uh, colors, different things like that are a, a great... Um, method to use uh, or great things to fix in, in Lightroom uh, 3.5. So let's get started. I'm in the uh, library module. I'm looking at some pictures that I've selected and let's just pick uh, some of these pictures to see if we can make them any better here. Uh, so this is a picture of dinner I had the other night and it is basically some salmon caviar on bread and to me initial look at this image is that it's maybe a little underexposed I took this with a Fuji X100 and let's do, so a lot of this is trial and error let's see what we can do to play with it so I'm in the development module now I like to play with curves to start off with see what this does kind of brightens it up a little bit I can go to exposure see if that makes it a little better. I can do a fill light, which makes it definitely very orange. It's kind of a orangish table as well. Let's do, see if we can do some color correction. That's more accurate, actually. So what I did is a little eyedropper, and what I did is I found some white in the scene. I know that these blurred images back here are white napkins. So I used that and it kind of balanced out the color a little bit. Maybe made it a little bit too cool. Let's try that. And maybe it's better to crop this photo because I got some weird shadows down here. And let's just see what it looks like, you know, on a smaller scale. So you definitely have the caviar in scene here. Not the greatest image, shallow depth of field here, but you can kind of zoom in. And it was in focus, definitely, in, in, the, in the focus point. Uh, let's see, I can up... Where did my crop go? Okay. I can up the contrast. Okay, it makes it a little bit more harsh. Maybe tone down the vibrance or the overall saturation. That's kind of interesting. Kind of definitely focuses it in on the uh, caviar. I kind of like that. And finally, let's look at the shadows. Okay, that's a little too... Okay, minor adjustments to the shadows. I typically play with exposure, feel like, contrast, a little bit of vibrance, not too much because it can look odd. And then let's play with the highlights, see if there's anything going on there that we can do. A little bit by the plate there and don't need to change the saturation or anything like that. Let's look at the image profile correction. Minor adjustment for the X100, so you can see the does a lens correction for this, this camera. Effects, grain, don't need any of that. 
I think for this image, we're good to go. I kind of like the way this one is. So let's look at an even worse picture. This is a uh, cleaning house the other day and had a trash day and had a time to throw away some old electronics. And this is one of my my actually one of my first TVs I've ever had. You can see how old this thing is, and you can tell that it was taken with um, um, a lot lower. A higher ISO 3200 f4 uh, with the x100 again so it gives that orange tone the higher the ISO level is let's see if I can warm it up so look at that automatically with the eyedropper right there and makes it definitely on my monitor a little bit overexposed almost so let's uh, decrease the exposure I'm gonna increase the contrast you may be asking, why did he take a picture of this? I don't know, sentimental reasons, I guess. First TV. <laughs> it's probably, I don't know, it's 25 to 30 years old. Uh, what else can we do here? Shadows. Okay. Alright, so let's make it, it's kind of a dull photo, let's see if we can make it even more interesting, right? So I have all these uh, presets on the left side here, some I've created, some I've uh, downloaded for free, uh, some that came with the software, and basically, you know, you can use these things, they'll change the, the whole view of the photo. So, it's kind of interesting. Let's try one more. How about a Hawaii 5.0? I'm kind of back to my original high, so overly warm. Let's see. Look at this. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Sharp. Alright, so that one can be cleaned up. You can see there and scan down here. Let's do the enable profile correction again and I think I want to move on from that image and do one that is way messed up I don't even know if I'll be able to recover this one but this was shot at night in the mountains and very high ISO 50 millimeter 1.5 25,600 ISO so lots of grain in this one and I don't think this one is salvageable and there's not much to show for it anyways. Yeah, so there's nothing really white or gray in here that I can focus in on with the eyedropper to change it. I guess there's some snow in the trees. See if that does anything. I think there's just not enough light in there to do anything. So, only some pictures you can save, folks. Sometimes you, with a high noise, high ISO picture, if you decrease the exposure, you can remove some of the grain in this. Basically, this is just a bad picture in the first place. And let's see if we can do anything to salvage it at all. No highlights to deal with. Shadows. Yeah, a little bit of the shadows there I can bring out. I think I like it darker a little bit better. See the banding in the 5D at the high ISO levels? It's kind of an extreme shoot anyway, so I don't care too much. Ugh, I don't like that profile correction. Alright, so let's just see if there's anything else that we could do to... If you really love this picture and it reminded you of your trip in the mountains, your silly attempt to bring out your camera in the middle of the night to take pictures of the snowy trees, Maybe there's a preset that might make it look more interesting. Typically, converting things to black and white is one way to, uh, it's kind of neat. One way to um, salvage a photo as well. You don't have the color to deal with, so. Let's just see. Yeah, so that's not bad. That's probably the best it's gonna get. Black and white, yellow filter, limited the noise a little bit. <clears throat> 
and probably running out of time a little bit but this one let's see when I look at this photo first thing I want to check is the overall exposure and I think I'm pretty good I'm a little bit of a negative exposure here I may have played with this one already next thing I want to look at is <clears throat> is the water level is that the horizon level and you can see I've already played with this one a little bit and I think that the horizon is level I don't like this little part down here not sure I'm able to fix that without losing a lot of the image so I, I could try this and I'm losing a little bit of the boat there let's try that okay so that's that's interesting and maybe bump up a little bit of the vibrance just because I think that overall it's a pretty good photo so folks that, that was just a quick uh, demonstration of the Adobe uh, 3.5 version, Lightroom, and the development module, and fixing some photos that you may want to keep. So let me know if you have any questions. If you like this uh, style of video, uh, let me know and I will do more. Thanks.